So, Algebra 2, the example that uh, we are starting off with for 3.7 says write an equation in standard form for a line that contains the point 8, 3 and is parallel to the line uh, that, whose equation is 4y minus 3x equals 8. Well, in order to do that, you need to understand what's parallel. So, parallel, to know that two lines are parallel, the way you know the two lines are parallel is that their slopes are the same. So if I were to give you, for example, something like this, y equals 1 half x plus 2, y equals 1 half x minus 1, we would know these two lines are parallel because they have the same exact slope. Okay, That is how we know uh, two lines are parallel, same slope. Again, y equals negative 3x plus 9 y equals negative 3x minus 4. Again, it doesn't matter what the intercept is. It means these are parallel. Because if I were to draw this line, okay, it would look like this, and then this one would be down at 1. They would be parallel. Okay, Same slope, up 1 over 2. Same thing here. This one had crossed at 9, had a slope of negative 3. This one crossed at negative 4, down at negative 3. So therefore, these two lines are parallel. So again, same slope. Parallel means same slope. So again, our first problem is wondering, what's the equation of a line that crosses through 8, 3 and is parallel to this line? Well, we have a point. Now, if we can figure out the slope, then we can plug it in. So what we're going to have to do is here is find the slope of this line. So the way we do that, we move the 3x. So we have 4y is equal to 3x plus 8. And lastly, get y by itself to find the slope. So therefore, y is equal to 3 fourths x plus 8 divided by 4 is 2. Okay. So here's our slope. Our slope is 3 fourths. Okay. Our slope is 3 fourths. Now it wants to find the equation of a line that crosses through this point and is parallel to this line, which has a slope of 3 fourths. So we're going to use this slope to plug into point slope here. So we have y minus y1, which is 3, equals our slope, our parallel slope, our same slope, which is 3 fourths, times x minus our x value. Okay x minus 8. From here, remember that the uh, equation, or remember the example says write it in standard form. Standard form again is ax plus by equals c. Okay. So we need to get rid of our parentheses, so we distribute. So you get y minus 3 is equal to 3 fourths x minus 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 3, which is 6. Um, we don't like fractions, so we want to get rid of fractions. So we want to multiply everything by our common denominator, which is 4. So we're going to multiply this side by 4, multiply this side by 4. So that gives us 4y minus 12 equals 3x minus 24. Because again, I distribute. Now, we need it in standard form. So the x and y on this side, everything else over there. So I'm going to subtract the 3x, and I'm also going to move this 12, because that doesn't have an x or a y. So that gives me negative 3x plus 4y is equal to negative 12. But remember, with standard form, you cannot have um, a negative in front of x. So a can't be negative. So therefore, we have to multiply everything by a negative. The easiest way to do that, or the easiest way to understand that, is just change all the symbols. So therefore, you get 3x minus 4y equals positive 12. Okay? So, this would be the equation of our line. 3x minus 4y equals 12. This line is parallel to this line. Okay? And it crosses through a3. I know it's a lot of work to do one problem, but that is how we find a line that is parallel to this line and crosses through A3. Again, hopefully these steps somewhat make sense. A lot of steps, but we'll do more practice uh, in class, that's for sure.
So that's how you find parallel lines. So our, for our second example, uh, we're switching up. We just did parallel. Now we're going to talk about perpendicular lines. Now perpendicular means they cross at a 90 degree angle. So 90 degrees. So now the way we can tell just using their slopes, to know if two slopes are perpendicular is we call it the negative reciprocal. Or the way I like to say, switch the symbol, flip the fraction. If I have a slope of one line that is two-thirds, perpendicular to that would be, switch the symbol, so it was positive, now it's negative, and then flip the fraction, so three halves. This is how you know two lines are uh, perpendicular, because their slopes are the negative reciprocal of each other. So if I give you this, m equals two, perpendicular to that would be negative, because remember, 2 is the same thing as 2 over 1. It would be negative 1 half. Okay? So that would be perpendicular to each other. So for our second example, it says, find the equation in standard form, equation of a line in standard form, for a line that crosses through negative 5, 4, and that's perpendicular to 3x minus 2y equals 8. So it's perpendicular. So the first thing we need to find is slope. We have a point, now we need slope. So we have negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 8. And again, we need to get y by itself, so we divide by negative 2. Someone's singing in the locker room. So y, those cancel out. You're left with 3 halves x. Positive 8 divided by negative 2 is a negative 4. They're singing really loudly. Jeez. Um, wow, not good. Anyways, so we have y equals 3 half x minus 4. So this is our slope. So we want to use the slope that's perpendicular to that. So we want to use a slope of negative 2 thirds. Switch the symbol, flip the fraction. So now what we're going to do is we have our point, we have our slope, so we can plug it into point slope. y minus 4 is equal to our perpendicular slope, which is negative 2 thirds, times x minus a negative 5. Minus a negative, so plus 5. All right? So now we want it in standard form, which means ax plus by equals c. So x and y is on that side, everything else over there. So first we need to distribute. So we have y minus 4 is equal to negative 2 thirds x. Negative times a positive is a negative. 5 times 2 is 10 over 3. Now again, we don't like fractions, so we need to get rid of the denominator. So in this case, we need to get rid of that 3 by multiplying both sides by 3. So when I distribute, I get 3y minus 12. I distribute here, just the 3's cancel out. So we're left with negative 2x minus 10. Okay? And our final step is we add 2x, add 2x, to get the x's to the left side. Now we get the 12 to the right side by adding. So our final answer would be 2x plus 3y equals negative 10 plus 12 is a positive 2. So again, what did we find? We found the equation of a line that passes through negative 5, 4, and is perpendicular to this line right here. Again, the way we know it's perpendicular is if our slope of this line is 3 halves, perpendicular would be negative 2 thirds. So uh, I hope you watched that, because uh, that was your homework assignment, was to watch this. And uh, an extra credit question. What is a good extra credit question? Um, who came up? Okay, it's a mathematician. There's a triangle here that looks like this. Okay. Right here. To where you add, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6. That's uh, actually a mathematical triangle there. You have to tell me who came up with this triangle right here. 
Uh, it's actually his name is how you make this. It's someone's triangle. So um, good luck with that, and I hope you took notes on this stuff because we're going to go over it in class tomorrow. So good luck.